Hello everyone, this is the King Therapod Show. After the extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs 65 million years ago, two main groups of mammals would end up conquering the world. These two groups included the marsupials as well as the placental mammals. Another group of mammals, known as the monotremes, would also survive into the Cenozoic era. Unlike their marsupial and placental mammal counterparts, however, these groups of mammals remained relatively obscure and occupied only small ecological niches. Marsupials, however, would end up conquering the island continent of Australia. Placental mammals, on the other hand, would go on to conquer the world's other five habitable continents. This included Asia, Europe, Africa, South America, and North America. So the question of this video is, why did placental mammals end up conquering more continents than the marsupials did? First, however, we have to give out a disclaimer here. Marsupials are not strictly limited to the island continent of Australia. Marsupials can also be found as well in North America and South America. And even as recently as 14 million years ago, marsupials also inhabited North Africa, Asia, and Europe meaning that marsupials also would have inhabited the same continents that placental mammals did. In order to answer this question, we need to look at the unique birthing methods that these two groups of mammals have. Placental mammals continue to incubate inside of the mother until they are fully developed. Marsupials, on the other hand, give birth to relatively undeveloped young, and most of the time during the baby's development, the baby stays with inside the mother's pouch. Because marsupials give birth to relatively undeveloped young, marsupial babies will be more susceptible to infant death in comparison to placental mammals, as more developed young would have a higher chance of surviving to adulthood. However, guys, it doesn't quite stop there. There's a little bit more to it than just that. One of the things you might notice with marsupials is that all marsupials have relatively short bodies that are low to the ground. This includes kangaroos, wombats, possums, as well as the Tasmanian devil. Having short bodies that are relatively low to the ground makes easy access for the baby to go in and out of the pouch. In contrast, however, this is not a problem for placental mammals, as placental mammals are born already fully developed. This means that placental mammals can develop much longer legs than marsupials can, and they could also have their abdomens much higher off of the ground than marsupials can as well. Let's just imagine for a minute that a giraffe, for example, was a marsupial. If a giraffe was carrying a baby in its pouch underneath his abdomen, in order for the baby to get to the ground, it would have to fall 10 feet to the ground in order to get out of the pouch and onto the ground. This is very awkward for the baby in order to get in and out of the pouch. This means that a marsupial would be incapable of developing the same type of body plan as a giraffe, as it would be inconvenient for the baby to get in and out of the pouch. Even the largest marsupial that ever lived, the Diprotodon, had a body that was relatively low to the ground and had short limbs. Another disadvantage that marsupials also would have had against placental mammals is their ability to occupy aquatic niches. Placental mammals, like whales and manatees, have been proven to be able to occupy aquatic niches. However, no marsupials have ever developed aquatic niches in the same way as placental mammals have. Imagine for a minute that a whale was a marsupial, for example. And imagine that the whale was carrying its baby in a pouch as it was swimming. The only time the baby would be able to breathe is whenever the mother surfaced out of the water. And not only would the mother have to surface out of the water, but she would also have to roll over onto her back and expose the pouch in order to allow the baby to even breathe. This is not a problem for placental mammals, as placental mammals are able to do this on their own, even at birth. However, this would be a big problem for a marsupial, as they're not fully developed enough to even be able to swim. So in conclusion, guys, what have we learned so far? So it turns out that marsupials have a lot of problems when it comes to developing certain types of body plants. They cannot get too tall, otherwise it becomes awkward for the baby to crawl in and out of the pouch. And another issue that marsupials also have is, because they're not fully developed when they're born, they can't occupy aquatic niches like whales or manatees because the babies are incapable of swimming once they're born. This would explain why placental mammals would go on to conquer most of the world's continents and only Australia would be left for the marsupials as there were no placental mammals for the marsupials to compete with on that particular continent. 
are really like making this video. And yes, I will be making more of these types of videos in the near future. As per usual, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks guys for watching.